We made this video in 1993 when we visited Eric and Viviana Hollenbeck at the Blue Ox Millworks in Eureka, California. In 2022, they starred in the television series, The Craftsman. Hi, we're here at Blue Ox Mill Works. We're getting a tour. These are the people who are building the uh, Redwood table for President Clinton for his Camp David. And the people who own this place are the people we met yesterday at our Bay Cruise. Hi, this is Bay. We're visiting Blue Ox Mill Works, so come on, follow me. Hi, I'm Viviana here at Blue Ox Mill Works. We are a Victorian job shop. That means we make all of the fancy woodwork that goes on Victorian houses or any style of house. We can do any type of custom woodwork. All of our machinery is from 100 to 150 years old um, that Eric has restored and we ship product all over the United States. two-by oak that have been glued together. So it started out square, well you can see right here, it's still a little bit flat right here. Yeah. And so the, the automatic part gets it down into a cylinder and then when it wants to put a pattern onto it, he takes this cutter out and puts a bar in here and then he can use these hand tools um, to rest on the bar and make the different parts of the pattern as the material is spinning. Okay, the first thing, this tree was originally felled in 1891. This is the center of the tree right over here. This is the burned out center up to here. So this whole tree was about that big in diameter. The loggers liked the cuts from there on, so they took the rest of the tree and they left this butt cut in the woods as logging slash. And then it laid in the woods for 101 years and then uh, we came along last year and got this tree and 60 other trees in a salvage logging job. I cut it with a chainsaw mill, then I planed it with a hand plane. I stained it with a uh, stain that we made up of Paduke, and then I finished it with, uh, with uh, this is called a French polish finish. Uh, from the 1650s. Stradivarius violin is only used French polish. And it's, it's applied by, it's a shellac, linseed oil, and alcohol, and you apply it with what's called a rubber, which is a, a cotton wad inside of a linseed oil. And then you close, the, close it up like that. And then you apply it long strokes like that. The legs are made in the blacksmith shop. Um, it's all wrought iron work. The finish on the legs, this is called japanning, and it's a mixture of uh, um, tar, pine pitch, and linseed oil. And you heat those together and melt them, and then as the mixture cools, you add turpentine to it. And this is from the 1700s. Then the feet, it has bare feet at the four corners because it's coming from California, which is the grizzly bear state. And it's going to the feds, which are the eagle. So that's what the eagle talons in the middle of the board. This table is going to eventually go to uh, the White House, and then its final resting place is Camp David. Are you making that especially for President Clinton? Yes, it's a gift for, uh, for the President and uh, the Clinton administration. That sure is a magnificent piece. It's uh, 12 feet long and four, four and a half feet wide. Eric, now tell me, how did you get the idea of uh, the legs, the bear claws, and the and the eagle's feet, and and the whole table, the whole thing? Well, they in first off, the the White House called here and said the president was going to come here to the shop for a news conference. Well, in, in 1860, in this community right here, we had uh, 
a world-famous trapper and mountain man named Seth Kinman. Mm -hmm. And Abraham Lincoln came through in 1860, and Seth Kinman made him a present, made him a, a chair out of elk antlers. You know, the big, the big mm -hmm. antlers right. from elk. Well, he made a chair and presented it to, to President Lincoln. President Lincoln was so taken with it that in 1860, he invited Seth Kinman back to the White House. Wow. And Seth Kinman uh, gave him this chair in his full, in his full mountain garb, with uh, you know all leathers and leather. And here's oh, all the rest of these Washington people running around in suits. And <laughs> and here's <laughs> Seth Kinman. He even had his gun. He even took his gun into the White House uh, to give this chair. And I thought, boy, if the tradition has already been started. So if the president's coming here, we better make him something. And I don't know how to make an elk horn chair, but I do know how to make a table. How wonderful. So then I, that's where Oh, I'm sure he'll be the, so pleased with it. For the table. Yeah. Those are so beautiful. Yeah. Let's see what the kids. Yeah. That's about a five foot yeah. saw blade. Yeah. It's yeah. almost yeah. as tall as me. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Yeah. shop here. This is where we do all the blacksmith work. This gate here, see if you can film it. My 12-year-old daughter just named this. Just did this one. Isn't this great? Yeah. Fabulous. She did it all. She did She did the rolls. She gets it red hot in the forge. She did the rolls. Um, she did these big um, uh, Spanish wind scrolls. Uh -huh. both the, ends. She, the puppies? She cut the flowers out with a cutting torch. Wonderful. I made up a special hammer for her. Um, <clears throat> she cuts them out with a cutting torch and then they're flat, you know. Uh -huh. And then she heats the middle up red hot in the forge with a set of tongs and then I made this hammer for her. Uh -huh. And we have another piece with a hole in it. She puts that red hot piece on top and then hits this with a hammer and that dimples the center of these. How wonderful. Right here, she heats it red hot and, and flattens it just a little bit. Uh -huh. And she splits it with a chisel. And then she takes those pieces and tapers them down to points, and then uh, and then takes it red hot and uh, with a pair of needle nose pliers and rolls it. All you have to be is 12 years old to do that, then, huh? I, the, pr the principal in the school. Uh -huh. After these boys got back into school full time, they, they took the tour, and then the principal started talking to me and said, "Boy, what a grand job you did! How great you did! It was." These, these boys have been in every program that the school had to offer, bar none, and they none of them worked. And, and you did such a one, on and on and on he went. And I finally said, you, look, you want to know what I did? For four months, two nights a week, three hours a night, I froze my tush off down here in the middle of wintertime telling these boys, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're born naturals. You couldn't be better. Doing great. That's all I did for four months. This one's going to be the theater. Oh, you can... The bunkhouse. Oh, yeah. And then the one next door I haven't started on, and that one's going to be the cook shack. Huh? All right. This is what's called a nursery tree. And they call it a nursery tree because, uh, uh, other trees, other plants are growing on it, so it laid in the woods, and you see the, the uh, years ago, uh, as, the, as the forest duff fell on here, then plants took hold, and, and there's about four kinds of ferns. Here's a, uh, here's a uh, five-fingered fern, here's a redwood tree, here's a blackberry, here's a huckleberry, mm -hmm. here's a uh, stag fern, here's a deer fern, uh, here's another, uh, here's a tree fern, two tree ferns there, here's another redwood and some more blackberries, and then there's another five fingers. Yeah, yeah, I heard, I heard of one old timer that did a race, not a race, but to see how many he could do. 
-huh. And they brought him shingles. All, all that he did was split them. And he did uh, he did a hundred squares in one day. Yeah. Once you get going, it's really fast. 